Sometimes big city people traveling through small town America think to themselves that there can't be much in the way of entertainment thereabouts. Well, in this postcard from Buckfield, Tim Sample shows us how wrong that snap judgment can be. As winter melts into spring in the little town of Buckfield, Maine, population about 1,200, the question is, what do you do for excitement around here? Well, now you can always wander down to the Buckfield Mall and browse around. That's good for a few minutes, but what do you do after that? Well, you could pop over to the Oddfellow Theater to see what's happening there. Now, get ready for your host of the early evening show, Michael! Ever since I've been performing, I wanted to own my own theater. And I've lived in Buckfield my whole life, and I've actually did my first play ever in this building. Michael Micklin's version of the late night television talk show, performed live without TV cameras or big name stars, has become must see reality in Buckfield on the first Saturday of every month. All it was when we advertised it was a concept. I, all I said is, some, I've always wanted to have my own late night talk show. Won't you come join me for a night of fun? And that was the first show to sell out. Hello. Hi. And the early evening show's been selling out ever since. Yeah, everybody gets one. I'm the resident odd fellow. Not bad for the class clown who married his high school sweetheart and never left town. Look, everybody's dressed like summer. Michael's wife, Kim, is in charge of the box office, the concession, the kids, and anything else that needs to be done. Did you want these goggles? Um, we went to school all 12 years together, and I picked on him in elementary school, and I guess he liked it because he married me. This is a bird. The Micklons and their three boys live above the theater they bought from the town four years ago for $20,000. They did the renovations themselves. Like Kim and I say, this is our fourth baby. This is this whole this whole thing is like another it's child. My it's my baby. Thing. Well, it's your stepchild. But, okay. Uh, Jason and Matt it's, Tardy, it's two other young main all... fellas with a flair for performing yeah, right, and right. an ability to keep many balls in the air at the same time, are integral parts of the early Sweet. evening show. When he hit a cat, <laughs> and it flew through the air like a beautiful bird and splat <laughs> upon his windshield. How young uh, an age did you begin this uh, juggling? Um, I was 13, and yeah. Jason was 15. Yep. Uh -huh. And I'm yeah. 18 now, and he's 20. Ever hit anybody? Um, yeah. <laughs> on, on purpose? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tennis balls, uh, they're, they're great to teach juggling with because you don't have to know how to juggle if you live in Buckfield, nice but thanks sport. to Michael Micklon, everyone seems either to know how like or to be learning. Nice work, nice work. Right. In fact, Buckfield may be the There's juggling the capital of Maine. Look around. My name is Morty Hansen. I'm the technical director at the Oddfellow Theater. I'm Fritz, and I'm the producer for this evening's show. I'll be playing in the band. I'm the band leader tonight of the Bottle Rock Kings. I'm all over the place. Look at this. You hang around the Odd Fellow Theater old. long enough, it's just a matter of time before somebody walks up to you, hands you a bunch of stuff, and says, Hey, can you juggle? Now, personally, I don't find it that difficult. And, of course, some of the acts on the early evening show do involve juggling. Bruce Mackenzie Johnson and his family appeared at Mike Micklone's beach party, but then they'd been on talk shows before. Last month, Jay Leno invited them out to California to do magic. We'd like to show you a clip. Okay, did you go swim in here? Did you go swim in the pool? Um, yeah. Yeah, but it was all, it had flies and it smelled like well, salt water. Well. <laughs> well, we can't afford the best accommodation. <laughs> here you go, Jesse. Who wants a dog? Do you know, I think what I enjoy the most is watching Mike act like a little boy on stage. All right. Oh. He does the things that most grown-ups wouldn't do, couldn't do, wouldn't dare to do. You want some chips? Have some chips with your dog. There you go. It's everyone just taking joy in that and feeling like, oh my gosh, we're really witnessing foolishness here. Mustard! It's like a bunch of inmates running the prison because we're all performers, we're all entertainers, we're all theater people, and then we're running the theater. And what do the old-timers of Buckfield think of all this? 
Well, just ask Rossi Killinan over at Fresh Cut Florists. And once you go, you're hooked. Well, he thought it was going to be a fun thing to do. Or you can ask Rossi's brother, Virgil Tilton, over at Tilton's Market, right next door to Mike Micklin's place. Uh, is Virgil there? He calls up for, a, I don't know, a dozen or more things. Our theme is beach party. Beach party? Yeah. And he orders them over the phone, and I run them over to him for people on the show and on the stage. And uh, when you do that, you got somebody to cover for you here? No. Nope. You hang the nope. sign up? No. Nope. I just run out the back door and over to the hall and hope for the best. <laughs> A lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff in there to be had. <laughs> right. Who who pays for all that? I'm hoping you would. <laughs> you ever think of calling Letterman while you're on here? I thought it'd be just it might be just ready to just, get Well, I figured, here. you know, if he you know he's he's only doing three days a week. If he wants us to fill in, <laughs> no problem. I'm working on out. Working on out. You know, it's funny because they say that we have a global village now, but no one's leaving their house. They're sitting, they're sitting at their computers, or they're watching their TVs, and they're getting their information, and they're getting their interaction by typing. That's why it's so wonderful to have 156 people all as a group really laughing about something, or, or you know what I mean? It's, it, it, you can't help, you don't get that from any other thing. Next, perusing the performance of some penguins in Peru.